it's not enough to be submitting on Actors Access and Casting Networks, etc., etc. You have so many other things you can be doing. In this video, we're going to talk about my tips for getting more auditions and being known in the industry. There are so many important people, agents, managers, casting directors, directors, writers, and it's your job to make sure that they know who you are. The more they know who you are, the more auditions you get. Giselle Foster. I'm an acting coach in New York City as well as an actor and I know what it's like to start a career from scratch and I just want to help you make it a little bit easier. Workshops. This is where you come in and meet an agent or manager or casting director, someone that you normally wouldn't be able to get in front of for a small fee. Now everybody doesn't like workshops but I swear by them but there is a right and a wrong way for you to do them if you want me to talk about that let me know in the comments below. But workshops are fantastic. Let me tell you about one of my students. She wanted so badly to be called in by one of these casting directors in particular, but she was being submitted, not being called into the room. She went in for one of their workshops. They got to see her work and finally meet her and she got called in a month later. Coincidence? I think not. Workshops are also fantastic for relationships that you've already started. So if there's a casting director that calls you in all the time, but you're just not booking, they might have some feedback for you that they couldn't normally give you inside of an audition room. Or you've been in for a casting director, but for some reason you can't get back in the room. Meeting them again at a workshop can show them how much you've grown and possibly get you back in the room. Most of us know this website as a site that we go to when we're trying to remember an actor, you know what movie they're in, but you just can't remember their name. But the site is so much more than that. My favorite way to use it is to see what people are up to. So for agents and managers, you can see their recent clients, you can see what their recent clients have booked. For casting directors, you can go on there and see what projects they're working on in post-production and in pre-production. Now, another site that I'm going to add in here really quickly is castingabout.com. This shows you the back, back, back end. You do have to pay for the monthly version, just like you do with the pro account for IMDb, but it's a fantastic place for you to always be on top of everything. Check it out. Keep lists of people in the industry. Now, if you have a memory like mine, you need to write down everything. And if you can't remember every casting director you've ever auditioned for, what they've booked you for, the callbacks you've had, when you've been on hold, then you need to be writing it down too. And it's just because you want to have as much information as possible. Information is power. Now, I made a whole video about that when it comes to auditions. I'll link that up. But this needs to be on an even bigger scale. Every time you do a workshop, every time you have a meeting, every time you go to a networking event, you want to be the first person to wish that casting director congratulations on their Tony nomination. Enter Google Alert. You can put down anyone's name and set it so that any news that breaks about them gets emailed to you. I love it. I think it's fantastic. Want to make sure you're up on everything Carmen Cuban does so that you can be the first one to say congratulations? Google Alerts. I go as far as to put my own name in Google Alerts so I can see everything that everybody else sees. Postcards and emails. If you were the owner of a dentist's office, you would be sending out marketing emails and postcards to get people in the door. Well, you are the CEO of your child's career or your own career. So it's important that you advertise. So when you land a gig, make sure you write up an email or send out a postcard representing the fact that you are booked and blessed people want you and therefore you can create a buzz around you now everybody likes something different some people like postcards some people like emails do your research and don't be bothersome social media i don't know about you but the first thing i do when i want to learn something more about someone is i pop their name into instagram and google to see what i can find out about them 
industry folks are the same way. They want to learn as much about you as possible and they know that they can do that on social media. I was once on set talking to a producer and he asked me about the kids that I work with and I answered him but I was half thinking, when did I mention that I work with kids? And I think he saw that on my face and he said, oh, sorry, I saw it on your Instagram. Look, I've even booked gigs from social media. Just make sure your social is professional and intriguing. All right, guys, that's all the tips that I have for you today. If there was something that really stood out for you or you think you do something that I missed, put it in the comments below. I would love to hear about it so I can share it. And I love sharing my secrets with you, but I don't want you to miss out on any of it. And if you don't want to miss out either, give me your email address and we'll stay connected. As always, wishing you love, light, and all that jazz.